Hello, Pastor Deborah here. Welcome again to another wonderful spiritual teaching video for you. We are here today in a wonderful playlist I created called The Light and Love Broadcast Show. I used to do this live on LinkedIn and on YouTube, but I found out that my streaming service was not fast enough. So there was a lot of buffering. So I decided to go ahead and pre-record and then present it in a YouTube premiere. And I'm going to be putting this on all the three YouTube channels of Agape Love Ministries, The Hidden Kingdoms for Children of All Ages and A Light of Love. This topic, Agape Love, we're going to be looking at what is it? Why is it needed? Who is it for? What is its purposes? I do a lot of teaching and ministry and helping people get healed from childhood trauma, abuse of any kind. And one thing that they're always missing is love. Many people have misconceptions about love, what realm it's in, what it is, how to do it, how to define it. So I'm going to help you through this video. It's going to take us a, several videos. I go kind of slow. But we're going to talk about the ultimate eternal love that every human needs that is in everything except some bad stuff. It's not in there. And it was... But then it was perverted. But we're going to look at this love from a spiritual context that not only your forever person, the spiritual part of you, must have. And for your soul and your physical body. This love is for three realms. And it is the healing source. Sort of like what this video is showing us. Light rays coming off. Many different parts of love coming at us, infiltrating us, feeding us, nourishing us, coming from the very heart of love itself, the source. So here in this video teaching, this is episode number eight of the Light and Love broadcast show. Like I said, I will be having this on all the channels. This is part number four. And first, let's open up with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father of the great kingdom of agape love, we thank you for being with us and loving us, desiring us, humanity, to be your children. We know many of us have gone astray. We have been kidnapped, then trafficked. We have been killed, abused, tormented, locked in prison cells spiritually. But Father, you found a way to get us. You brought the keys to us to help us open the doors. You provide a way, a road, a light for us to walk on. 
bring healing in your wings of love. And now help us to understand the very source of agape love. The mother's side of you and the father's side, all rolled into one. Help us to understand this deep concept of love. Not only from an earthly standpoint, a human standpoint, a sexual standpoint, an intimacy standpoint, a healing definition. Help us to understand what love your neighbor means, loving your enemies means, what loving you means, and even loving ourself. What does this mean? And how each of this is required, necessary, food for us to take in, to let the rays of your touch of agape love reach us, minister to us, bring deliverance and healing to our broken and wounded spirits, souls, and physical bodies. Be with us now in this spiritual teaching of agape love. In the name of Christ Jesus, amen. When I was first being transformed from a licensed clinical mental health counselor into helping people the Lord's way, I had to have deposited in me the greatest gift. It's called agape love. I had to understand it from the father's heart, from his mother's side, from a love of an elder brother, from the love that would sustain us through everything. That would even one day go to a cross, take my punishment, suffer in my place, so I could be free, so I could be delivered out of death. I had to study love. Oh, not just the human love. I had to study that also. I had to study the biological body and its many hormones and chemicals when love and sex and intimacy is involved. I had to study the connections, the bonds, the soul ties of the mind, the memories, the desires of love. I had to look at children, infants, and their bonding to their mother in their early childhood. I had to understand a father's love, a mother's love, and what all of our forever persons, our eternal part of us, is looking for. I had to understand how it is abused to torment us, to control us, to pervert us, and yet each of us is still looking for it from every source. I had to understand all the parts of agape love. What was in it? What were the different rays and elements of it? it took me a long time. Where I started was in the Valley of Tears, and you'll see that in the King's International Spiritual Care University. I have a video up called The Valley of Tears. When I first accepted God's calling on me to help people His way, and not the way of mental health counseling, something happened that I began months and months of nothing but tears. I walked through a valley of crying, crying out to God for people who did not know him. I would tell God, I don't need anything from you. I'm already blessed. I didn't bless myself in songs or prayers or even ask anything. I was saved. My husband was saved. My son was saved. We would all be in heaven upon our death. But there was many of you in deep religious darkness. You did not know this loving God like I did. So prayers became petitions. I would cry for you uncontrollably in church. During praise and worship, I would cry that I could praise him, but you couldn't. I understood spiritual darkness, ignorance. I understood that there were many of you most of humanity in every generation that does not know you and does not understand love at all. And yet we're all looking for it. So began my journey through the Valley of Tears, 
months and months of just crying for you, asking God to help you, asking God for mercy on you, asking God to send somebody. One day he told me he would. I was so happy and excited. Somebody was going to go out and reach you out there. And he said, I am sending you. I go, what? I don't know how to help them. I don't know where they are. I wasn't qualified to do this kind of work. But God said he would help train me and educate me. And then he would send me and he would go with me. So my journey began by studying agape love. The very light that I was to carry in my voice, in my prayers, in my petitions, on the phone to you in person. And I prayed for you. Everything had to be immersed in, grounded in, full of the light of agape love. And at that early years, I didn't even know the deepness of it. So I had to do a study. What you'll learn about Pastor Deborah is she is a teacher. I must study a lot in depth and then be able to teach you slowly in baby steps. But I will begin teaching right now on agape love, the greatest gift. When I was beginning my study, I sort of began at the cross and I worked my way backwards and then I worked my way forwards. And I wanted to hear what God himself, the father of the king of the kingdom of heaven had to say. I had to understand why a young man named Jesus would go to a cross for me. Who was he? Why did he say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do? I didn't understand the love of this son to his father. I didn't understand the father's love to me and all of humanity. So I had to study. And this is what came out. It's called Agape Love by God the Most High himself. And this was God speaking to me. So I could speak to you. I'm a messenger, sort of an angel. He can use my voice. Look through my eyes. I am in him and he is in me. He can work his ministry anytime he wants to. My spirit will step back and he can rise up out of the Holy of Holies and shine his light through me to you. So let's hear what he has to say about himself. By God the Most High himself. Agape love is my way. Now agape is a different word than just love. It's not an emotional love like we think. Agape comes from the Greek word. It's an eternal word. It's different than human love. Or the love we have for animals or nature. Or the love we have for our job. It's different. So he says, agape love is my path. This is the way he's going to go. The way he's going to think, believe. Every action he takes is based on agape love. It's this path he will travel from ancient days, from the early beginnings, before he even breathed out civilization creation. Go look at the playlist, story time. You will hear about the one who decided that one was a lonely number. And he was going to breathe out of himself all of creation and how he had to get himself prepared to be seen and known and recognized. And he would be, breathe out creation because of love. Agape love is my reason that I'm doing everything, he says. Agape love is my gift that I give to all creation. Agape love is my power. It's my source, my very essence. Agape love is pure and clean. There's no perversion in it. No lies, no deceptions, 
no lust, no greed. Agape love, I would tell, is here now, right here through this video. Agape love can heal you. Agape love is for you. When I would do ministry to people in the deepest, darkest, spiritual ignorance of satanic ritual abuse, religious cults, serving other gods, hidden away in disassociation and multiple personalities, living in trances, I had to know that this love could heal them and that this love was for them. Agape love gave itself fully and completely to save all. Agape love created to be in spiritual hearts, minds, and souls. Agape love gave its all. Agape love made a way. Agape love, full of glory, riches and treasures beyond all comprehension. This motion video by Pixabear shows us, illustrates to us, the heart of agape love sparkling and shining, sending out rays and stuff. And we want to thank Pixabay for this free motion video. I am recording through Zoom Pro with no green screen, so things may look strange. My hand could disappear around my hair. You might see my background. I might look fuzzy. I don't use a green screen. I have enough to do. Tried them all. I don't like them. So we are without a green screen. And hopefully, maybe one day Zoom Pro and others will be able to create a better program where I won't look so fuzzy without a green screen. We learn from this Father, the source of agape love himself. That's what that heart represents, him, his heart, deep inside of him. The best way to explain it is look at the sun. We see the rays, all of its fire and its radiation coming out of it. But deep inside, it's coming from there. So this is sort of helping us to see the source and the rays of love coming off. Gopi love was sent across space and time. It stepped out of eternity and into time for you and all of humanity, for all generations to come. Gopi love was expressly reflected to all from inside my words of spirit and life. Agape love spiritually took all upon itself. It spiritually bore all of humanity's sins, trespasses, evilness, wickedness for all of eternity. Agape love was nailed to a cross it wasn't the nails that held a young man named Christ Jesus to a cross. It was love. It was agape love that held him there. He had the spiritual power to come down. But because of his love of you, humanity, and the love of his Father, through love he stayed on a cross. And it was nailed there. He gave up his spirit and his physical body died. He was there on a cross to spiritually bridge a great spiritual divide, a separation between itself and you. Agape loves spiritual children. Agape loves spiritually unlocked a spiritual door that was spiritually closed and locked between us, God the Most High, 
the King of the Kingdom of Heaven, the Spiritual Father of Creation, and you. God beloved said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. God beloved through the Son said, Father, I'll pay the price they owe. I'll go for them. Take me instead. That's the heart of a God beloved. To die for someone else. We say that in the military. Men and women willing to go into war and die for you. People to give their lives and sacrifice. Many women have to do this for their own children and even their husbands. They give up their lives for other people. Many can't do that. Selfishness rules them, not agape love. Agape love said, from a cross, it is finished. The punishment that all of humanity was to have was done. God beloved did a powerful transformation for us. He took upon himself, even though he was innocent, all my guilt, my shame, my humiliation, my trespasses, my diseases, and he was punished in the courtroom of judgment from the judge of the universe for me and you. Agape love made a spiritual show of its power, its authority, its dominion, its love openly on the cross. And what came after? Openly before the enemy of agape love. The enemy, the spiritual adversary of agape love was defeated. His name is Satan the adversary of God and his kingdom of darkness. All of his angels that were with him that are now called demons and devils, evil spirits, wicked ones, they were defeated on a cross by agape love. Agape love sits now on its heavenly throne of grace and mercy for all to see and worship. God beloved spiritually desires that not one of humanity, not one of his lost little spiritual children, little ones, be spiritually lost to him. Not even one. Not one aborted baby. Not one infant in a war zone. Not one female mother, grandmother, grandfather. Not one adult male or teenager, no matter what God they're serving, will catch them as they're falling into hell. I'll go into hell myself to get them. I've gone into hell to help them. I've gone into the wombs of women to adopt love on the little spiritual infant in the womb as death was coming from abortion. I've had to love those who vote for abortion, the abortionists, the doctors, the nurses, those who do not love innocent children. I've had to forgive the bad guys who kill women, children, and infants. Death is going to come to all of us physically, but God is not finished even when earthly death comes. He had a plan. And that God be loved would be victorious. And Pastor Deborah was a part of that ministry. And a part of that work. God be loved made dry spiritual lands. Of spiritual hearts. As his spiritual rivers. Of living waters. Life. Flow freely to all overflowing and running over. I have experienced the very presence of agape love spiritually. 
for many years. It's overpowering. You'll sometimes just cry. I used to look at a rose on a magazine in a checkout and start crying. Something would touch you, a thought, and you would just start crying. Your loneliness would rise up and agape love would be there. You just didn't know it. Agape love was working through nature and animals to love you. The sun is shining to love you. The wind is blowing to love you. But yet we cannot see agape love at work spiritually. But it is there and it comes to you. Agape love spiritually pours out its glorious waters. That's what you see flowing from this heart. Waters, rays, light coming off of the center that's sparkling with life and water and love, peace and joy and forgiveness. It's coming from the very throne of grace itself, the heart of God. God be loved spiritually pours out these glorious waters of life freely to all. God beloved spiritually is flowing freely from the kingdom of heaven to spiritual man, every eternal being called the forever person. It is reaching you even though you can't see it yet. It is there with you in the darkness. When you're in your trances, when you're in your meetings with Satan, when you are dying, it is there. It will reach out in light, a voice, a hand, in the realm of agape love. It will not lose you, no matter what. Even if you have been serving other gods, bowing and worshiping them, killing for them, we will not lose you. For we have been sent. Agape love and Pastor Deborah are sent to get you all around the world and into the kingdom of darkness. God be love will flow freely to your heart, to your mind, to your soul, to spiritually reach you, you, the lost spiritual ones who are dead, separated spiritually to him. You are lost spiritual children to him. And he is sending his love. And the distance is not too great. And he has come this day, as he always has every day, into the spiritual dark kingdom of darkness to reach you. He may visit you in your prison cells, your dreams, through animals, through nature, through another human, through a book, a movie, fairy tale, through a doll. It's reaching, flowing through everything. God be love is in nature. It's in water, air. It's in people, animals. It's in food. God be love is so powerful. It can show up and you can see it, hug it, and it will love you. It's not a sexual love. It's a forgiving, merciful love that you need and you are searching for. Agape love will spiritually sustain, nourish, and deliver, heal, comfort, grow, and guide you, the spiritual heart and mind of the forever person. Then it will be transferred to your soul inside the dirt body. A lot of work goes on on the inside of you. Many of you are afraid of love. Love has hurt you. This is a different kind. But it's what you need. God beloved will never spiritually forsake you. You, his lost spiritual children. Or you, 
his found spiritual children. God be love is his only way. And it is the only way to bring healing, deliverance, grace, forgiveness, mercy, joy, peace to you. And for you to know you are loved. God be love is the alpha, the beginning, the first. And it is the omega, the end. It is the beginning and the end of everything. Agape love began creation. And creation will end. And then it will begin again. A new birth. A reincarnated new creation. New planets. For all of the new children of agape love. Agape love is the price that I paid for you, says Agape love. Agape love is the victor. Agape love is the spiritual conqueror. Agape love is the deliverer. Agape love is the healer. Agape love is spiritually rich and full of never-ending mercies. Agape love is full of spiritual light, life, truth, healing, deliverance. Agape love is me, your spiritual heavenly father, the great I am, the king of the kingdom of heaven, God the most high, the God of the holy Bible. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of the Jews. The God of Moses. The God. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The God of the New Testament. The God of creation. God, your heavenly spiritual father, creator, and source. God beloved spiritually forgave all humanity. For all generations, long, long ago. Before the beginning of time, he forgave you. And he made a way when he created the natural world. To play it out in the drama. Because he was going to let every creation know of his magnificence. His powerful agape love to his lost children in the darkness. God be love went the great distance, spiritually finished its race. It spiritually crossed the finish line. It did it all for all of humanity, for all generations. A God be love is me, God the Most High himself. Your only love you will spiritually ever need. Your only spiritual father and mother that you will need. God be love me, your spiritual everything. God be love paid the price for your redeeming. God be love took the judgment and the wrath of the law of righteousness of God upon itself for you. God beloved did all for you so we could spiritually become one family, one spirit. So spiritually rejoice, dance, be happy, be at peace. When you look at the sunshine, be at peace. I am at work. You will see me there, and in the twinkling of the stars, you will see me everywhere if you're looking. All is spiritually well between us now. A new and glorious day is upon us. My spiritual light and truth has spiritually come to you. Open my greatest gift I have for you. Unwrap my box, get past the flesh, and come into the realm of the Spirit. Find my spiritual gift 
of Christ, the anointed one, my words of life, and a young man of dirt named Jesus. I've sent you agape love wrapped up in dirt for you. Open up Christ and spiritually discover the spiritual gift that's inside of him for you. There's a spiritual governor there. And it's of the heavenly kingdom of heaven to help you. Let him shine his spiritual light, his truth, into your spiritual heart of your forever person. Let my rays nourish you, replenish you, sustain you in your heart, mind, and soul. These were the beginnings of agape love. I had to learn how to listen to God out of the Bible. I had to learn to look at his acts, why he did what he did. I had to study God, the Father himself. I had to look at his acts of creation, his acts of war against demonic gods in Egypt. I had to see why he would give land that belonged to somebody else, to his Israelites. I had to learn about the young man who went to the cross, who he was, what relationship he had to this father and to me. I had to study, read scriptures, read books, watch movies, listen, take notes. I had to do a deep dive into agape love. I had to look up all scriptures. I had to listen carefully and ponder, think about. I had to look at humanity and what it's trying to do through sex, through intimacy, through love of animals. I had to see love and I had to see what not loving looked like. I had to learn what the real was, what it was for. God had me look at nature, the sun, he had me look deep inside my soul, my biological body, my spirit. Gopi love was vital to helping people the Lord's way. We are not taught about love in mental health counseling and the human's need for love. We were not taught about the essence of it, the nature of it. We weren't taught about it in the spiritual realm either. So I had a lot to learn. So I had a lot to learn. I was ignorant of agape love. I had to, had to study Valentine's Day and understand it's where it came from and how it's become perverted. I had to understand the loneliness of not being loved, but yet the desire to be loved. I had to understand how love was perverted, twisted, in the darkness, in Satan's kingdom. How love was stolen and betrayed through abuse. And what the purposes of abuse is in a human's heart. I had to study love from all sides. And then I had to be given the gift to be a carrier of it. I am not agape love. I am loved with agape. And I can love you with agape. But that comes from the source from the heart of God himself in me to you. So here in this teaching of agape love, we're beginning to get a deeper look at ourselves about agape love, where it came from, what its purposes are. You can look a lot in nature and see love between animals you can see love of trees for their little babies, love of mama animals for their children. You can see us, we love the sun when it comes up, the stars, the ocean. We love each other. A lot of us love business and beautiful things and buildings. But I had to study that too. I had to understand humanity's need for love 
and how it became perverted and twisted, confused. I had to learn about how it will seduce you to do evil, wicked things. But I had to study the perfect, the glorious, agape love of the father and mother, the great I am. So if you want to be a student, a disciple of Pastor Deborah's, that's easy. Subscribe to the channel or just watch. Study. I'll help you to grow and learn. And you can help others in the next generation. First, help yourself. Find that you need agape love. Not religion. Not fellowship with other humans. First, you must find this love from the very source. The very center, the very heart of agape love himself. The great I am. The king of the kingdom of heaven. Love itself. We learn later on that God is love. He doesn't create it. It comes off of him. It was there since his beginning. He is it. And as we study it, you'll learn that. So welcome. And I want you to remember, you are loved with a love that is beyond your understanding. But it is here today on this video. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you sent yourself, your rays of love to us through all the generations in many different ways. You made a way for you and us to become family again. You made a way for us to be reborn, reincarnated, rebirthed. You made a way for your heart to forgive the sins of our ancestors and us who sinned against you. Father, thank you that agape love went to a cross. And thank you that you won the race for us. Now be about your work. Let your agape love be a great victor. Bring home many, even today, with this video. Don't lose one of them, Father. Not one. In the name of Christ Jesus, amen. Okay, I'll see you on the next part of the Light and Love broadcast show. I'm going to put this on all the channels for you to see. God be love is vital. It's not a normal type of love. It's not the love you have for an animal or another human being or the love for a job or a love for recognition or a sports team. It's something different. And you have to learn what it is. Then you have to open yourself up spiritually to allow it to touch you. If you want that right now during this video, it will touch you. I've been touched. It is a powerful touching, spiritually. It's an intimacy that only, I can't even explain it. It's such a oneness in your spirit with this agape love. And this agape love, when he gets in there, He's in your spirit, coming out from the holy holies, this light, this love, these sparkles, these rays are always shining out to your spirit, always, even in your dreams, always. in your comas, in the womb, it never leaves you. So you be encouraged, it is coming to find you knows where you are and it has a voice of love from a father and a mother to a lost child you i'll see you on the next one of agape love bye